So today, guys, I'm going to show you how to make this um, AFKable, very easy dripstone farm that you can make in your Minecraft world. And just to say, the Minecraft world I've made this in is Tortuga. Tortuga is the server like Hermitcraft that you guys are able to join if you are interested. There'll be a link in the description for more information, but let's get on with today's tutorial. So I've come to a creative world and made this thing to make things a bit clearer for the tutorial. And what I'm going to show you is how to make one of these pods. Now, as you saw in Tortuga, you guys can stack these if you want, and you can stack them vertically or horizontally and make as many as you want. Dripstone unfortunately does grow quite slowly, so I do recommend having a few of these near each other where you can AFK. These are the materials that you will need for it. Now, everything up the top here, this is an exact number that you'll need per pod. Uh, in here, we have a chest. There's again one chest, probably enough because it's a slow output of dripstone. And the water, I've got two water buckets there because you'll need that uh, to create a water source, because you will need a bit of water for this. And then roughly two stacks of building blocks. Doesn't have to be the glass and iron blocks that you see here. You can build yours out of whatever you like, but that's just how that's going to go. So let's grab these materials and I'll show you how to build this thing. So you want to start by placing a chest where you want your output to go. Then place a hopper going into that chest. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight blocks like that. And this is where all of the dripstone that you make in the pod is going to be shot into a water stream and go into that chest. I'm now going to put my glass above this. Again, you can use anything, but above the chest, you will need to place either a glass block or a slab or stairs or something like that so that the uh, chest can still be opened. Now, if you've done this correctly, when I go ahead and place my water down in there, it will end on top of the hopper. So even if I got rid of that glass right there, that's how it ends, and that's how you know that you've made it the right size. The next step is to place down your eight pistons. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, facing inwards just like that. And from this side, you want to place down your observer. So the red bit here is around the back, and the actual observer part is around the front, just like that. So you can place one on top of each of these pistons, just like that. Put it by a block around the back of each of these pistons, and then redstone dust on top. This will observe when the dripstone grows and power the piston to break it and collect it in the chest. Next, you want to go and place three blocks on top of each of the glass blocks that you have here or whatever you're building out of. Just essentially increase all of this by three, as you see I'm doing here. So it'll look a little bit like this, and then you want to go and place your blocks on top of your observers as well to case that in and you'll have it looking like that. Next, you can place down your dripstone blocks in here, just like this, there we go. So they are essentially gonna be just one higher there than the observers, like that. Uh, and then at this stage, what you can do is go and build a bit of a perimeter around here like this, and you're gonna to need to place down a water source block on top of each of the dripstone, uh, just like you see here. So where we've got each of these dripstone blocks, we're gonna place the water down on top here, just like this. There we go, very good. And that means that then what we can do, if we just break in here for now, we're going to place down a uh, dripstone on top of each of these, or on the bottom, I should say. And each time you do it, the pistons will extend like that. And do it right to the end. The last one there. There we go. Fill the glass back in. And the farm is now ready to go. Whenever these grow, the observers will see that power the pistons, break it off, and cut the dripstone in the chest just here. So there you have it, guys. A very easy dripstone farm for Minecraft 1.17. I hope you liked the video. I'll see you in the next one.